Good afternoon. So I've been car camping now for just over a year. And in that time, the only problem I ever had with the weather was how cold the car would be, or at least I thought how cold the car would be. I actually have never had a problem of being cold in this car over all the seasons. And I think that's probably due to the sleeping bag I've got. It's a very good sleeping bag. It always keeps me warm. Now, interestingly, obviously over the past week, a problem we've had here in the UK is the heat wave. And that has created another problem. And that is the heat when you car camp. Now, I've never had a problem with being too hot in the car, but as I sit here right now, it's 29 degrees outside the car. And to prove the point of this little video, I've got all the windows shut, all the doors are shut, and I am sweating buckets in here. But that's the whole thing, actually. That's the thing which I'm a little bit concerned with with car camping at the minute. And to be honest, it's one of the main reasons why myself and my wife didn't go car camping yesterday. We were all packed and ready to go but we are not lovers of the heat and it was something like 28 degrees yesterday and the car needless to say two people in the back of this car we can do it but you know it's going to be extra hot so i needed to find something to make the car cooler now the item that i purchased which we're going to have a go at now is the jml chill max air pure chill i think it's the same product otherwise known as the jml um, arctic air i think it's the same thing but don't quote me on that there seems to be lots of products with the same kind of name that kind of look the same but the basic principle of this is it's an air cooler now what is quite good about this unit is it's really dinky now to give you an idea of perspective this is a two litre bottle of water i think that works does that work yeah there you can see so it is very small and it is very light so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little look and see how well it works now it is possible to make this even colder by putting part of it in the freezer now to be honest we haven't even had a chance to do that yet it was so hot in the heat wave we literally bought it took it straight home plugged it in and started using it what you can do is if you open up the bottom tray here like so then this filter comes out now what you do you can put that in the freezer or in terms of regular use like this you can pour water over this bit and then just literally go straight back in here that's it put it shot it back in close the door up and there you go now in terms of car camping you're obviously not going to have access to a freezer particularly so what you can do with this is you can use water and this is how the air cooler bit works you can take water and as you can see here, there are little holes on top. So all you literally do is you pour your water in, like so. Now on the side of this unit, you will see a little water gauge. And as you can see, that's as good as up to the water line. So that's it. So that's the only prep work you need to do for this. Now, clearly, what you also need to be able to do this is a form of portable power. Let's give this a test. So we're going to plug it into the jackery there. You turn the jackery on there. You've got three speeds. One, two. So that's the lowest speed. Now, to be honest, I've been running it on the lowest speed at home just because it just gives a nice cool breeze. And you know what, in terms of here, it's giving a nice cool breeze as well. Now, the important question that I had, and no doubt you will have as well, is what is the draw or what is the wattage that the fan uses? Well, let's have a look. 15 watts on the lowest setting. And if I turn it up to the highest setting, On the lowest setting, it's 15 watts, and on the highest setting, it's 20 watts. I would say this is quite good, to be honest. Considering how hot and sweaty I was about five seconds ago, it does create a nice, cold breeze, and it is cold, and that's the thing. I think the thing with water coolers, what's so good about those is where it pulls the air across the water, it does make it a lot nicer. 
Now, in terms of why I like the Chillmax over, say, an oscillating fan, when you're in limited space, having a big fan takes up a lot of room, obviously. Now, with the Chillmax, it's small, it's light, and I think it just works really well. Now, I'm gonna use this when I go next weekend, so that will be the proper feedback. And cost-wise, this was only £40 or £39.99, readily available from lots of stores. Um, I bought it from Dunelm only because it was in stock. But uh, yeah, no, I think this is potentially quite a good little product. Now, the thing is with the Chillmax, the only thing it doesn't do, it doesn't oscillate. So the only thing you can do is you can move this vent up and down. And to be honest, I think in a small space like a car, that's not too much of a problem really, is it? You can put it in one corner of the car and it will in effect keep the whole area cool. Now, interestingly, as far as car camping is concerned, this Chillmax has another little function, which I think will be quite useful, but I will show you that later tonight when it's darker. And just to confirm how British I am, I'm in my car, it's 30 degrees plus in here. I am absolutely sweating buckets and I'm drinking a hot cup of coffee. It is now 10 to 10 and it's taken me this long to wait until it's actually dark outside for me to show you the other benefit of the JML. So the other benefit is quite simply that the Chillmax Air has a rather funky LED light system that actually lights up the whole car. And what's extra cool about this is, much like my LED lights, there's all different shades. And the other benefit of the light system is it shows you how much water is left in the air cooler. And that's why I had to wait until this time of night to be able to show you the last part of this. And I think it's quite cool. But in terms of normal car camping use, I think the light from this will be quite sufficient to light the car. So on that note, I am going to head off to bed I think, it's work tomorrow and I need to get up slightly early. So until next time, I will see you later.